in the last call between US President Joe Biden and his Afghanistan counterpart before the Taliban takeover. The leaders discussed military aid, political strategy and messaging tactics. Seemingly, neither Biden nor Ashraf Ghani could predict the immediate threat of the entire country falling to the armed group. Reuters reviewed a transcript of the presidential phone call and has listened to the audio to authenticate the conversation. The materials were provided on condition of anonymity by a source who was not authorized to distribute it. The two men spoke for roughly 14 minutes on July 23rd. In the call, Biden offered aid if Ghani could publicly project he had a plan to control the spiraling situation in Afghanistan. The US president also advised Ghani to get buy-in from powerful Afghans for a military strategy going forward and then to put a warrior in charge of the effort. It was a reference to Defense Minister General Bismillah Khan Mohammadi. Biden lauded the Afghan armed forces which were trained and funded by the US government. He said that Afghanistan had 300,000 well armed forces versus 70 to 80,000 of Taliban and they are clearly capable of fighting well. In much of the call, Biden focused on what he called the Afghan government's perception problem. Biden said, we are going to continue to fight hard, diplomatically, politically, economically, to make sure your government not only survives, but is sustained and grows. On Tuesday, the White House declined to comment on the call. After the call, the White House released a statement that focused on Biden's commitment to supporting Afghan security forces and the administration seeking funds for Afghanistan from Congress. Afghanistan was promising a shift in its military strategy to start focusing on protecting population centers such as major cities rather than fighting to protect rural territories. Biden referred approvingly to that strategy. He said that doing so would help not just on the ground but in the perception internationally that was required to shore up world support for the Afghan government. Ghani, for his part, assured Biden that his assurance of support went a very long way to enable the Afghan government. The Biden-Ghani call also underscored persistent political infighting that made matters worse in the Afghan government. When Biden asked him to include former Afghan President Hamid Karzai in a press conference, Ghani said that would be of no help. He further said the last time he met Karzai, he apparently cursed him and accused him of being a US lackey. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.